Okay, well, look, um, let's uh, move on to this. Now, in the uh, top right horn co hand corner of the, the screen here, you can see the Facebook link for the person who's produced this little video. But we're just going to run through a little video and you're going to discuss it as we do. It's subtitled at the same time. Um, but this is, uh, this is looking at uh, the movement of, uh, of people uh, from Tunisia, actually, in this case, into, uh, into Europe. Alex? It is, although the claim is that they came from Tunisia into Europe, because these are ships which this chap, Luca D, has tracked using maritime radar tracking resources. He had to pay several thousand to get access to this database. And if you see, uh, leaving the toe of Italy, Messina, these, these ships which claim to have picked people up in the Straits of Sicily, which is the, the narrowest point between Sicily and Tunisia, the, the top point of Tunisia, they were actually going straight down to off the Libyan coast, as you can see there, going nowhere near Tunisia, hanging off just outside Tripoli, picking up people and then going back and then claiming all over the place on social media that with the taxpayer funding they'd been given, they were going off to rescue people in the Straits of Sicily, in that much narrower channel from Tunisia. And as the chat points out, under international law and maritime law, if you salvage someone from just off the coast of um, Libya, then you have to put them into the nearest port. In some cases, that's another port within Libya. Uh, and in many other cases, it would be Tunisia. Uh, but they, what they do is they bypass them, they go right past Malta, past the whole of Sicily and land them back in Messina so that they're then in the European Union. And that, so uh, this, uh, yes, that's what we're seeing on screen at the moment is showing a track. Uh, I mean, it's, it's obvious that this, this is a trade that's going on here. Yeah, every time they put out to sea, they've got several thousand euros. I think sometimes several thousand euros per head. So this leads us into questions of who is profiting here. And we, we do hear that the uh, refugees are drowning in their thousands now since the EU and, 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 na and naval operations got going. Uh, where a lot more are drowning than before because of the rickety boats they're being put in. Well, you can see what happens. They're being put in these awful uh, knackered tugboats and just being pushed gently off Tripoli uh, because they know that, uh, that the traffickers know that within a few hours, one of these NGO boats with EU funding or, a, or an, an EU naval asset in some cases uh, is going to turn up and take them straight back, not to the nearest port, as by maritime law and international precedent, but no, straight back to Italy, so that they can all be ticketed as, as EU refugees. Um, and the, the, in this clip, the final question in the, in the subtitle there is the most natural question which comes to each of us is why? Um, what are your thoughts? Because there's money in it. It is quite as simple as that. 